and straight away shaping that in as a good run there. He shot mid wicket. Saim Ayub there. It's not really the timing, hasn't been there yet. This time a little fall and he's nicely worked that way on the onside. There'll be runs and it's a quick, fast outfield. Bit of catching up to be done and the effort doesn't really work right now. And that's the first bad shot of the morning. And it should be taken and it is. Innocent Kayel. Again he falls playing the pull shot to Shah Nawaz Dhani. Again wide. He saw that opportunity but got nowhere behind it. And the ball just flies away to third because of the pace on it. And uh, Mehran Mumtaz takes that catch. Wesley. Edged and taken. Again, just that tentative push outside the off storm. And Dani has got two and two. Just the length that uh, Sikander Bacht was talking about. And it's a good catch at second slip. Imran Bhatt, the captain, makes a catch. And he's absolutely. Yeah, this time it came in, and that's a lovely shot. Beautiful shot to watch. And straight bat, vertical bat, gets a boundary going. Sunshine's. In the air, but it'll be safe. Just throwing his hands at it because it had that enough weight, and Craig has got all that experience. They're on those shorter sides. Good looking shot. Cracker of a shot. Too much wit given and pays the price with another boundary in the over. Nicely done. Again, it's not the first time Marumani has done that. Just moves across and uh, makes the ball come inside the line. It's just that little step that he takes outside the off stump. Nicely driven. Beautiful shot. That's probably the best shot of the morning. Firmly struck. Bit of a misfield. Now there's going to be trouble. I think there's trouble for Marumani. There was a fumble at mid off. But he got up. And this is trouble. Once again, Zimbabwe in the first power play lose their third wicket in the consecutive match. And there we go. There's the decision. Tadio Nash Marmani, he was looking set, was looking good. 16 off 24 deliveries. Zimbabwe lose their third, 35 for three. We're losing their third wicket inside the power play. Six runs. The angle from Amir Jamal and the slight quick back into the wicket, but uh, Sean Williams just using the pace. And that just carries it over for the first maximum of the day. Brilliant shot. Outside edge, what a delivery. That's the bit of extra bounce that we're talking about. Outside edge, gone. Yeah, he didn't look settled, Sean Williams, for the time that he spent at the crease. From Amir. Brilliant length, full, but Sean Williams, no footwork at all, looking to work that through to the leg side. Then once again, the delivery just straight. Tucked away. It might just run away to the boundary. It will. Just enough legs on that. Outside edge Come taken. On! Comfortable catch for the captain Imran Butt at first slip. Amir Jamal gets another breakthrough. This man brought in at the ball at a time with two left hand batsmen and operation and he's claimed the wicket of a keg on the leg side. Wow. Slightly overpitched and dealt with. End of the 13th, 61 for five. Nicely worked away. That's a safe option. He gets a boundary for that. Smartly done. Just opening the face of the bat and uh, using the pace on the ball. There you go. You take up that challenge. Short ball won't work. We saw him day before yesterday doing the same thing, and he finishes an over with a boundary. 84, just like in the first match. Nicely played. Seems like more at ease against spin. Madande, nicely worked. Full follow through and 
gets four runs to his name. Shot. The power was behind that one, and he gets four runs. Played fine. He's done it again. He's got such a deft touch. As soon as there's a bit of width outside the off stump. Outside edge. It's in between the two men. Backward of square and just in front, and it will run away to the boundary. But they've uh, improved, and that's a one off the outside edge of Clive Madande down to the boundary. Shot. That is a good shot on all accounts. Got himself outside the line of the ball, made sure if he missed it, wouldn't hit the stumps. 25 gone, it's 138 for five. Short, pulled away. Ryan Bull has been belligerent on anything. Short, really, really threatening to her out. And there he's gotten Clive Madande. What is being brought into the attack to achieve? Partnership was good, needed a breakthrough. He turned to his star bowler, and he's produced the goods once again. In the air, just to the right of mid-off. The chase is on at the moment. Kamran Ghulam won't beat it. That's a boundary. Flying catch again, Ahmed Jamal. He's just... Uh, Poked at it. It was outside the off stump, shorter length, and Wellington Masakaza made sure he gets some balance to the wicket. Wellington Masakaza just trying to run that down uh, through to third man. It was always a dangerous shot. Only Ryan Burl. And Manani down the wicket. That's hit high in the air. There's a fielder getting under it. Will it go over him? Come on, Gulam. Yes, it does. Just running down the wicket was Ryan Burl. Obviously looking to get some impetus into the innings. Targeting the off spinner mirror. He's trying to slog that. We talked about it that he'll try to get as many runs as possible, as quick as possible, because he's running out of partners. But at the moment, he's got Rambo just looking to help that one over the short third man. Naichi yeah, has a go at it. He's going to get some runs because he's played that in that wicket zone in the mid wicket area. And four. Four of the first ball of this over. Gone right through. Well, he had made up his mind that he's going to just smash everything out of the park. Ahmed gets a Pfeiffer. And a well-deserved Pfeiffer from Amir. He has bowled his heart and soul out for the Pakistan Shaheed. Once again, backing away. Bottom edge, cannons right into the stumps. This is brilliant bowling from the fast bowler. Missed from this man. Well, that's a good ball and well dealt by <laughs> Muzarabani. Smashes that down to wide of long on. Just past that diving first slip. Could have been a catch. It's going to go for a boundary. Mehran Mumtaz would feel a bit unlucky. Good shot from the big man. On another day, that would have gone straight to the wicket keeper, but this time, because of the pace and bounce, it's gone over the wicket keeper for. Wow, he's put everything into that. That's one shot no bowler in the world would like to be hit over his head. Well, that's a very elegant square cut. <laughs> How good was that? Yeah, played that with the horizontal bat, slaps that one to wide of Dani. Another boundary is just making the bowler look very ordinary here. And he's gone over Cal Corner, he's used his feet and he's cleared the boundary for the second time in his innings. Look at that. Great use of the feet, timed it well, put everything behind it and got a maximum. Seems that Abani. And this time he goes down the ground and he's uh, going to find another boundary. Miran Muntaz. This time he's found the gap between uh, Car Corner and Long On. And this time it's off the inside edge. 
as uh, Dahani got it into the block hole. Select. And there you have it. Blessings on Barney, your beauty. Gets to his maiden first class of 50 off 24 deliveries. An amazing piece of betting it has been. And he does it well. And uh, the, everybody at Hari Sports Club is on. And now Victor, uh, sorry, Tendai Chatana is getting in on the play. And a fantastic catch that uh, brings the end to a very entertaining uh, half an hour of play. Tough start, tough at the top of the order. Kaea just to Marumani, 16 looked good until he was run out. Hasibula, Madevere. Five just... wickets to his name, and then Dahani picked up two. Hamza and Mehran just picking one each. Offside two on the leg in front of square. Oh, that looks good. Full straight and out. He's pitched it up, but swung back in. It's a stock delivery. Fostam Tizwa is happy. And it results in an LBW decision adjacent straight as you like. Jubilation for Tendai Jitara. Fostam Tizwa. That is a classy shot first up to Chitara. Slightly over pitched. Chais. Turned away. That's nicely played. This swing on offer. Come back, come back. Started too straight. Boundary to start for Imran Butt. Over pitched again. Huraira is in a batting mood this afternoon at Arai Sports Club. Wow. He's down the ground. Next delivery is Mohamed Huraira. But what a comeback. What a response from Huraira. Not phased by the movement from the ball before. Flicked off. Cut away. Oh, that's gone quickly to the boundary. Nicely done. Good wrist work on that occasion. Just uh, chipping that in that square leg region for a boundary. In the air and gone. All that build up for this. <laughs> How many times does that happen? <laughs> He's innings, but this one from the tall end of the bat and trying to put that one over mid on and straight down the throat of Victor Nyauchi. Zaraban. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. This is the second time. Got to stop talking about <laughs> everyone. Backward point takes the catch. Blessing Muzarabani gets his second. Kamran Ghulam playing away from the body. Goes for no score. A brilliant piece of bowling from Blessing Muzarabani. Just a little bit of width that was there for the cut. But an excellent catch from Wesley Matere at backward of points. And the famous celebration from Blessing. Good looking shot. Straight as you like. We'll take him off the mark with that lovely boundary. Hussein Talat. Just at five. What a beautiful stroke. Overpitched. The Saint Talat says thank you very much. In the air. Gone. Marumani takes a comfortable catch. I was just saying. It's to go. Probably something that's been worked out by the Brains Trust in the Zimbabwe 11 change room. We'll see a change in approach from a Blessing Zarabani. Overpitched and beautifully timed away. Hasn't tried to force it. Good work from Sean Williams. That's out. That is a great chase by Sean Williams. He's fumbled it a little bit, but got it in the hand. Here's the wicket. So Sean Williams was in pursuit. He's fumbled it. In fact, he didn't. He picked it up straight away and threw it. But then they had to go away from the stumps to collect it. Really, that's, that's found the outside edge. Did give himself a little bit of room, did Mubasir Khan, to try and get it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's nicely played. Very nicely played. There wasn't all that much width, but he's okay, waited buddy. and waited and waited until he... Mm. Oh, that's a good shot. That is a very good shot. It's a big... 
again. That's the shot. That's the kind of stroke play you're looking for. Princes now. 36 runs. It'll be more runs here. Extras maybe. Coming back for the second and just rolls over. Naughty for Armour Wesley Madeira. Tindai Hitara has plenty of work to do. Is unable to stop another boundary. Back to back boundaries for the Shaheeds. He's picked it up and he learned himself a boundary there. Now that leg stump line is just. And that's a good use of the feet from Ubasir Khan and Victor Nyawuchi. That's in the air and it's Wesley Madeira who's put it down. Uncharacteristically, and I think that is probably quite close, and it's been given. Imran, but held out as bad as though he believed he'd gotten an inside edge. Victor Nyawuchi here. Victor Nyawuchi pitching it up. It would have gone to hit between middle and leg stump. That's in the air. Blessing Zarabani is running towards it. And what a great catch! He's had to cover nearly 30, 40 meters to get to that catch. And cool as you like, the big man, blessing Mzarabani. The wicket. He thought that it was short to take on, but he just sky hide it. And blessing Mzarabani, a cool and comfortable. It's above six runs and over. And this one is in the air again. And it looks like it's Victor Nyawuchi underneath it. And he finishes, takes the catch. thought that he could just get this one out of the way and give him some some confidence skies it catch taken by victor Nyo. and that is a full toss from nyawuchi and i mean jamal uh, he puts it away to the boundary and he's bowled him. victor nyawuchi's got one through a fuller and again, have pulled up to the party. Smacked over extra. Does it have enough legs to get to the party? Gone. Dahani's gone. The shines are done. 156 all out with a huge margin of 80 runs. That's uh, the margin of victory for Zimbabwe select. And uh, the man blessing Zarabari, rightfully so. And the block ball, Dahani just looking to give himself room, trying to heave that over extra cover, but this time plays in mid. Uh, batting lineup. Good start for I mean, Yes, Bobby. select Muzarabani, four for 24 and six and a half. Brilliant. It's ably supported by Vic. And that's the match summary. Muzarabani, brilliant, 50 of 24 delivers. Brian Burl, once again, showing good form of 47 of 60. Madande, 43 off uh, 44. I'm there.